In this video, we'll cover from start to finish how to do simple editing work on Sibelius first, which is the free version of Sibelius. If you don't already have score editing software and don't know where to start, watch our video that explains step by step how to install and register the free version of Sibelius. Before opening the program, confirm on your taskbar that the FD link login is active. Click on the FD icon on the Profile tab, fill in your details and confirm. Ok, now we can open Sibelius first. If you don't do this, Sibelius will open in Reveal mode, so it will not be possible to edit any element of the score, just view it. We want to remember here that all the topics covered in this video are detailed and deepened in specific videos, so if you have doubts about any tool, Enter our channel and watch the specific video about this tool. Opening the program, the Quick Start window presents a series of possibilities for instrumental or vocal score. We click on the desired score. Next, we choose the page, Portrait or Landscape Orientation. Below, we choose the Time Signature. if the song will have a pickup bar, if we want the tempo and metronome indication to appear. We continue choosing the key signature. Fill in the basic information, title, composer, letterist, if any, and copyrights. We click on Create. To start writing, we choose the desired figure in the keypad window and click on the staff, inserting the desired note. If you want to know more about note entry, we have a complete playlist on that topic. We continue the writing using all the tools learned. Let's hear how it turned out. For this, we will enable the transport window. It looks like everything is fine. Let's continue inserting the chords. We click on the first note and press the shortcut Ctrl key. If your chords are turning red, it means that they were not recognized by the Sibelius database. You have to change the language of Sibelius to English. Watch our video on this subject in the card above. As the chord was very close to the metronome indication, let's move it away from the staff. We proceed adding the chords. With the notes and chords written, we will delete the bars that are not being used. We select and press Ctrl Delete. In this song, the melody is repeated several times and only the lyrics change. Let's just insert a repetition bar. We select the desired bar, go to Notations and choose the repetition bar. Now let's insert the lyrics. We select the first note and press the shortcut Ctrl L. We write the lyrics. To continue on the second verse, we select the first note again, go to the text tab and click on the bottom of the lyrics button. We choose the lyrics line 2 option. We continue writing. There, our short edition is done. If you have any doubts, 
Remember that we have more than 50 videos on our channel detailing each of the tools we work on this video. Good job to everyone!